Today we're going to be working on a FirstCo 37UCQB. We're going to be installing a direct drive blower motor. What's up guys? Today I have been tasked with replacing a blower motor for a furnace, 120 volt. Not sure what is wrong with this one, but I was just told to swap it out. So that's what we're going to do today. Got our new blower motor right here. Three speed, 115 volt. Whenever you're replacing a blower motor, make sure your voltage and horsepower matches up. First thing I'm gonna do is loosen the locking nut on the shaft. And I'm gonna spin her around. And we've got one, two, three bolts holding it in. A real pro would have a socket set handy, but I don't feel like going to the shop right now. It would be just as quick by the time I get back from the shop by doing this manually. Next, you want to lift the blower motor out from the squirrel cage. Sometimes these get seized into the squirrel cage where you would need some silicone spray and possibly a motor pulley puller. But let's see how this works. I'm just going to step on the back of this and kind of crate a little, little bit and then just lift straight up. This one came out pretty easy. Those don't really go in that easy, but managed to get it. Set your motor in. I like to get all my bolts hand tightened before I before I should be using a socket to secure these, but it is what it is. All right, 10 minutes later, I've got all the bolts nice and tight, because I'm an idiot, so let's hook up our speed to the board, black for high. Blue for low. Red to P8. It was a P7, I'm not sure. Hook up our run capacitor. Brown to each side, doesn't matter which side. Now when we're installing this locking screw, we want the flat part right below the locking screw. And then you want the squirrel cage centered. Easiest way to do that is just look from above and then Give it a little spin. If you don't hear anything, you're probably good to tighten down. 
Give her a test spin. So I'm gonna put the motor in this way. There's two holes right here that line up with the bolts that are coming down. There's a back lip right here. I'm gonna slide over the sheet metal. Hook up our Taco pump for the heat coil. Just two wires for that. Got our little voltage wires. Red to the R terminal. Line voltage hooked up. That's it. Fan's now going. Now we can get some heat in here before it snows today.